Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to discuss a couple things about Game of Cans. Um, I tried to go for this cross server rush recently. I was trying to win to get more Marco Polo um, presents. Um, one of the things I'm learning over and over about cross server rushes is that when possible it's, it's really best to wait until the last day to see where things are at because otherwise you can end up um, wasting a lot of loot for no reason. And this one I used up about 260 million um, before it became obvious that I wasn't going to be able to surpass first place. Um, I probably should have just waited. Um, part of the reason why I didn't wait is I was kind of in a hurry, or I hope not in a hurry per se, but I was impatient to go ahead and use what I had saved up because it's been a long time since I've climbed and saw some people in my server were starting to get closer and closer to me and I just felt the need to get a little stronger so that I could keep winning the server rushes. Um, so I really didn't want to skip another solve rush. I wanted to just go for it. But it doesn't look like I'll be able to win Marco Polo shards this time. And talent rushes lately, cross server talent rushes, have been getting harder and harder to win too. Um, overall, I would just say that if you're not spending a lot of money in this game, it's, it's really hard to be one of the strongest people, if not impossible. And I've been getting a little bit discouraged about how much time and money it takes to be strong or competitive in this game. And I've been thinking it would be nice if I could uh, just quit without any regrets. Um, I've put so much effort and time into the game already that it feels like I'd be leaving a lot behind if I were to stop. But I've been thinking that if I get anyone that's interested in buying my account, I'd certainly be happy to sell it. Um, and if I can't ever find anyone to buy it, I might start thinking about just giving it away too. Because I gotta um, consider if the time I'm putting into this game is worth it or not. It just isn't as fun as it used to be um, when I'm trying so hard. And I feel like I'm doing really well, but you just don't really get much out of it because everybody else spends more money, money than you do. And if they spend more money, they win anyway. Just isn't really that fun. Um, but I have committed a lot of time and effort to the game, so it's hard to walk away from it for that reason. And I've got friends here, too. Um, speaking of having friends here... Um, there's a lot of servers that are really dead in this game, but the server that I'm in is still pretty active. Um, if you look at the rankings, going all the way down to... Uh, looks like there's still... There's at least 38 people who are still getting at least a million sov during sov rush, and then there's a couple of other people who aren't gaining much. <clears throat> if you look at the overall rankings for my server, um, it's getting to be so that... There's quite a few people who are crossing the billion mark. All of these people are still active, except Norsk quit, so he's not active anymore. Let's see. Slain quit too. But all the rest of these people in like the top 20 are still active and still playing the game regularly, still participating in battle. So if you were hypothetically to buy my account, you'd have a really strong 2 billion sov account on one of the few servers in the game that's still really active. So I think that's... If you're interested in being strong in the game, um, my account's stronger than a lot of people who are VIP 8 or higher, and um, I can assure you that you could... Uh, there's no better way to get really strong while not spending nearly as much money other than buying somebody's account that's already well developed. Um, but that's enough pitching that idea. I don't think there's really going to be many people that are interested in buying my account, but just kind of throwing it out there. <coughs> If I don't manage to sell my account, my plan is to eventually, over the course of like a year, maybe two years, I'm going to try to get my main horde battle st squad strong enough to fight against people who are in like the 4 billion to 6 billion range. Um, and in order to do that, you have to unlock outfits, which cost money. Um, and I'd rather not go down that road, but it's not really fun for me to play this game at all if I can't be competitive. So basically, my only two choices are just uh, quit playing the game or continue to spend money on it. And it's not really worth it to me to keep spending money on it. But at the same time, I've already invested so much effort in it that it's also hard for me to just walk away. So it's kind of my own fault for being in the situation in the first place. Um, I guess I could call it a learning experience. I mean, I have enjoyed the time that I've put into this game, don't get me wrong. And it's been worthwhile up till now. It's only the position that I'm in right now that doesn't feel so great, where because of what I've already invested, it's not easy to walk away, but um, 
I'm in the point where I'm not enjoying the game nearly as much as I used to anymore. So that's where I'm at. Um, in terms of the game in general, I don't like the way things have been going lately. Um, and by that I mean I don't like the way the developers are adding more and more features to make people really strong that absolutely require money. Um, the main thing, of course, that I'm referring to are the outfits. Um, so in order to get all the talent for your strong advisors now, you're going to need to get two outfits, and they have to be unlocked a total of four times to completely fill up the talent slot. Each unlock, probably, if you manage to do it really cheaply, would be between $25 and $30. So let's say it's about $30 per unlock. Um, so that's $120 for each talent slot. So that's an extra $240 for each advisor that you want to finish maxing out. And that's just to get them fully maxed with their talents. Then there's also, they're adding new consorts that are expensive to unlock too. And I think after enough people unlock the wolf consort, they're going to add a queen consort probably, and maybe even others. And then there's the whole tiger amulet thing. Um, so the way they balance tiger amulets is just really bad. And by that I mean... The Tiger Amulets themselves are already um, really overpowered, which led to that whole snafu where everyone's trying to buy as many as they can every day and people are getting angry. But then they also, on top of making the Tiger Amulets overpowered, they also made the uh, General Seals really overpowered, which is what you need to unlock another slot. So if you win one Talent Rush, it basically essentially doubles the value of all of your Tiger Amulets because you get a new slot unlocked that's the same level as your other slot, and so, for me, my Tiger Amulets are giving me, like, about 70 million Sov just by themselves. So if I won one Talent Rush, that would give me General Seals that are worth 70 million Sov. And so, the Talent Rushes are being bid up to insane prices where only people who have been hoarding for a year or more can win them or people who are spending a lot of money. And I guess what I'm getting at is the game is just more and more going in a direction where it doesn't really matter nearly as much how intelligently you play the game as it does how much money you put into it. And that's not a direction that I like, enjoy, or condone in any way. I think it's bad game design. I think it's bad for the players. I think if things keep going in this direction, it's going to eventually drive more people away from the game. And as the game gets less populated, it's going to be less fun for even the people who are spending a lot of money. So overall, I don't have a lot uh, positive to say about it. I was really looking forward to Legion Battle, which... Is still not here months and months after being announced. Um, I thought Land of the Lost might be interesting, but it seemed to turn out to be a little bit more like a cash grab than anything else. So lately, I've just been very disappointed and disheartened with the direction this game has took, taken. And, um, I mean, things aren't going that bad for me personally, I guess you could say. I mean, I'm, you, as you can see, I've got a comfortable lead in first place in my server. Um, I'm actually getting pretty close to making it into the uh, into the cross server solve rankings. Uh, most of the people you'll see in these rankings are like uh, VIP nine or higher. You get a couple of VIP eight players here, um, but most of them are VIP nine on up. Actually, I think I only see a single VIP eight person in the rankings. Everyone else is VIP nine or higher, and so I'm getting pretty close to being in the top 100, only being at VIP six. So it's not like I'm moaning and complaining because things aren't going well for me personally. I mean, my growth's going okay, and at my current trajectory, since I'm gradually creeping up there, I think eventually I'll be able to get into the top 100 and solve just doing what I'm doing. It's So it's not it's not like things are going bad for me. It's I don't like the direction the game is going. I don't like the decisions the developers are making. I think they're actively moving the game in a bad direction. And I'm also realizing that I've committed so much time and effort into this game that I'm having like difficulty letting go of my account, even though I'm not enjoying it as much anymore. And so that's why I'm trying to think about, you know, either selling or giving away my account is because I just want to, basically I want to get off the ship. But if I don't manage to get rid of my account, I'm probably just going to keep playing the game out of habit and obsession. Um, and I'll keep getting stronger. Um, the only part that's not good about that is I'll keep wasting time on something that I'm not enjoying as much anymore. And uh, I do still like making these videos, but I, I'm running out of things to talk about. Because I feel like I've pretty much explored most of the content that there is in the game and most of the mini-games that get added. 
uh, they're pretty straightforward. You know, there's only, you can talk about maybe for 15 seconds the skill elements of the game, and then the rest of it is just, you know, spending time and money. So I guess if I had to sum it all up, I think it's just the way the developers are designing a game is not the way I want the game to be. I want the game to be a game where people, you know, can compete against each other with skill and yeah, maybe spend money if you want to, but I don't like spending money to be like the focus of it. And it's it's becoming more and more the focus of it. And the more that happens, the more it pushes me away. Um I don't think I'll be able to um, continue to enjoy some parts of the game, but I admit I am still enjoying like the collection aspect of it. Just trying to collect and finish my advisors. It's kind of like playing um, a virtual trading card game. But then when I think of it that way, it seems even more ridiculous to spend any more money on it. And at the same time, the competitive part of me doesn't like to fall behind. So it's just like a psychological trap that the developers have intentionally engineered to try to sucker people into spending money. And uh, I don't approve of that. I feel like it's deliberately predatory game design. Um, I didn't always feel that way about this game. Like when I very first started it, I was willing, and even when I was six to eight, maybe ten months into the game, I was willing to, you know, give the developers a lot of slack because it seemed like to me that if you just played the game really intelligently you could compete even with people who spent a lot of money and you didn't have to spend much and there was a lot of free content in the game that was good so you know for the longest time my overall impression of this game was good but it's just lately my perspective's shifting a bit because I really see just over and over in all different kinds of examples how the developers really only seem to care about getting the most amount of money out of you as possible and they don't really care so much about keeping people's enjoyment or quality of gaming life high. And it could be it's always been that way, and I've just been more blind to it before because I didn't want to see it, and now it's just gotten so obvious that I can't ignore it anymore. But that's my perspective on the game. I have to admit that even though I have that negative perspective of the game, I'll probably still keep playing it for another maybe six months, maybe even another year, just because I'm a very obsessive person and I'm very habit-based too. And this game has become a little bit of a habit, a little bit of an obsession for me. And it'll take me quite some time to get free of that, especially if I'm not able to pawn my account off on anybody. But videos on this game are going to become less frequent. I'm going to start making more videos on other games, as I've mentioned before. Anyway, that gets that long rant out of the way. Many of you may not have been interested to hear all of that, but I just wanted to give everyone who's watching me a more, a more thorough explanation of why I'm thinking about quitting this game, because I know some of you may not understand or be happy about that. <clears throat> anyway, so since I wasn't able to win the cross server rush, I'm thinking I'll save the rest of what I've got. I think if I save talent for like the next nine months, then probably at the end of those nine months I could win a talent rush. That feels like an insanely long time to hoard, but it's probably worth it because all during that time I'll be accumulating more tiger amulets. And so, you know, nine months from now, my Tiger Omelets will probably be worth about 100 million saw rather than 70 million. And so, doubling 100 million saw will probably be worth a nine month hoard. And that's why people are hoarding insane amounts for talent rushes, because it just really is insanely valuable. It's, it's really better to win talent rush than it is to win saw rush at this point. So, I think I'll just hold on to my talent, hoard it up for like nine months or so, try to win a talent rush. Um, maybe after I win a talent rush and I get those extra general seals, I can use that loot to try to win another saw rush after that. So that's my plan. Um, so that'll be early next year, I guess. I'll try to win a talent rush and a saw rush. Maybe if I'm lucky towards the end of this year, I'll be able to win an intimacy and a, and a charm rush as well to get more Marco Polo, Marco Polo insignias. Uh... I don't really know what else to say besides that. <clears throat> I hope you guys are all enjoying the game. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. But, um, I'm starting to run out of enjoyment and things to say for this game. So unless there's any specific requests from you guys about things you want to know, videos you'd like to see, uh, this might be my last video on the game. I'm, again, I'm still open to making more videos if you guys have specific requests. But I'm starting to lose my... Uh, passion for the game and I'd rather make videos on other games at this point. 
Well, that's all for this one, and I hope you guys were, um, I hope you guys were interested in what I had to say. If not, it was probably just a big waste of time. <laughs> that's all for now.